Bless you. Oh, bless you. Yeah. Just like a little. Are you ready for the show? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, Cookie, let's We're almost on air. All right. So, um, one of the worst things you did to me was show off what you were going to show off for your next uh, fucking Ben Lounge. Contestants. You got a whole you bunch of you don't know Jack show? games for $5. Yep. Okay. I'm here. Why Feeling do you good. Do this? Uh, so, uh, welcome to Bergen Bin Lounge, and this month we are playing a whole bunch of you don't know Jack games. What'd you, what'd you put in? I put in Niski. Niski, I'm gonna put in, uh... Here we go. Yeah, so if you've never- you've probably seen You Don't Know Jack from the recent Jackbox Party Packs. But, Do a 20, 21 question. Oh yeah. But, uh, this is the original. I am Q. Yeah, this came out before Family Guy, if that tells you how long ago this was. Yeah, what, what was this, like, 90... 90... 99, I think. It's 99? E it's either 97 or 99 is when the first You Don't Know Jack came out. Can't be right. Now listen, people blow this all the time. When a question comes up, if you want to buzz in first, then hit a 1, 2, 3, or 4 to pick an answer. Are you with me? Okay, 1, 2, 3, or 4. Okay. Does, do these count, too? I don't know. Oh, we might be able to test it. Oh, we're live, I think. Oh, so, uh, quiet on the set, people. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, for those of you who have never seen You Don't Know Jack, it is a trivia game where... Anything the, goes. Yeah, the questions are absurd, but you have to think like the game does, because if you can figure out what they're trying to tell you, you'll get the questions right. By the way, this used to be a game show. I think over in the UK. That makes sense. You see, I'm more of a Jeopardy guy, so this is exactly the kind of, uh... I'm exactly the kind of person that they're... ...gearing towards. Same announcer since the very beginning. Came they, back for the Jackbox they, they, they got a couple new, uh, a couple of other ones. A couple of new ones, But it's mostly been, uh... uh Harry Gottlieb, I think his name is. Who is Cookie Masterson? If you are playing a multiplayer game, you get the ability to screw your opponent. Basically, if they don't know the answer, you can force them to try and answer. And if they get it wrong, you get some money. If they get it right, you lose money. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's get going. So, which one do you want to do? Uh, the manufacturing in the five senses. Okay, it does work over there. That's good. Hey. All right, let's see what we're doing here. Manufacturing and the five senses. Thousand okay, bucks, man. All right, what you got? Worth a grand. Flight attendants, prepare for takeoff. If you drove by a business called the Old Factory, you might uh, go for boop. prosthetic noses. Really? Bet it smells great oh. in there. Oh, factory senses that, in your nose. That, yeah, that makes sense. All right, uh, oh, I, I get choose. Uh, yes, yes, yes. uh, do you want to be insulted? I love being insulted, especially by you don't know Here's Jack games. Ha, you! Psst, do you want to be insulted? A right answer will get you two Got him. for this question. Okay, get yourself set. It's time. Let's say we're friends, and let's say that I call you cold, wet, and spineless. Now, let's say that I wasn't being rude. Oh. I was just telling you the truth. What animal are you? A Siamese uh, spider? Uh, alligator. Oh, God. Well... Go for oh, literal God. broke. An egret's a bird. That's a bird! An egret picking this one, huh? That's a bird! Player two, what do you I'll go for this then. You're a lobster, you're cold blooded, spend a lot of time in water, and you have no spine. Nice. But with some lemon and butter, you're quite a dish. Uh, okay. Sports played by foreigners and are therefore stupid. Oh, good, a sports question. A foreign sports question. Okay, Hope you like rugby. This question is. Hope you like football. Foreigners and are therefore stupid. The and this is one's going to be worth three thousand dollars. Get ready to buzz, cause here it comes. If Curly from the Three Stooges decided to take up <laughs> the Scottish sport curling, he'd have to buy each of these things except which? Oh. Tea, Ooh. Stone or Krampen. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Go for it, player one. Rejected. Fuck. Uh, so would it be a clap? clap. Hey! Oh. I don't think anyone wants to play a game that requires trying to get the clap. I don't even know what a clap is. It's probably it's why it's in there. Oh, is that it? That's it. Okay. 
Uh, what do you think? Uh, chicken and vodka. That sounds disgusting. Oh, no. Gibberish question. Here it comes. Oh no. Oh, these are fun. Ticklish test gun. You gotta figure out the phrase based on the gibberish they give you. Opening value on this gibberish question, 5,000 bucks. Now, you're gonna have about 30 seconds to solve this puzzle, but I'm gonna be taking a little bit of money away every second and a half. All right, ready? What song lyric does this rhyme with? Smirnoff, you pee the gizzard. Don't be fooled by the punctuation. Uh... Smeared off you pee the gizzard. <laughs> Number one, famous movie characters sing it. Uh... These characters are singing it on a yellow brick. Oh. Player one, see what you got. Type it in. Oh, I get it. And you're wrong. What? Yes, you're wrong. Uh, hey, you still guess. wrong. And Fuck. You ended up with craps. Tough break. Oh. It's all yours, player two. Oh, we're off to see the wizard. The wonderful Wizard of Oz. Because, 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 because I hate that, I hate that line. Because of the gizzard. <laughs> because of the wonderful giz he does. Commercial logic. I'm down for commercials. Perfect time for an ad break. Category. Commercial logic. Thank you for coming back from the ad break. It's worth 3,000 bucks. Get your eyes focused on the screen. Here we go. Rabbits aren't kids, tricks are for kids, therefore tricks aren't for rabbits. What is this an example of? A syllogism, oh, uh, a fallacy, uh, an ad hoc argument, or a Oh. Thesis? Player two. I guess that was an ad hoc guess too, huh? Oh, well. Failure. Oops. Syllogism. Woo! The only jism you'll learn about I took philosophy. <laughs> I thought I knew what an ad hoc argument was, I really didn't. Hey. All right, pick one. We got some juicy dogs. Bum, bum, bum. Number six, it's number six, it's number six. This dog's made of water. Juicy dogs. This question's gonna be worth two thousand one dollar bills. Two thousand big ones? Ready? Let's get busy. If the always blue huckleberry hound were made of blue litmus paper and were dropped into a giant glass <laughs> of orange juice, what color would he be when he climbed Fuck. out? Fuck. Oh, I always uh, forget this. Uh, I always forget this. Uh, 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 citrus is an acid, right? Citric acid turns blue litmus paper red. Yes. Because like, okay. these litmus papers, he's being dipped in the orange juice, that means it's acidic because it's citric acid, so he'd be red because it's a. Yes. It's basically blue! Yeah, those are the types of questions Play I love. A very Muppet Christmas. I like the Muppets. I like Christmas. I like very. Next huh. up, a perfect. very Muppet Christmas. I like A. You this is the perfect the question for us. Got 2,000 bucks coming at you. Okay, let's get this ball rolling. There's two characters from It's a Wonderful Life that have names. I never saw It's a Wonderful Life. Ooh. Mr. Hooper and Mr. Potter, Oscar and Clarence. Oh, Martin God. Uh, uh. Go for it. Here you go. Enjoy answering. Every time you hear a bell, an angel gets its wings. No, Clarence! <laughs> I never saw it! I don't know! Yeehaw! And a Merry Christmas to you. Ah, oh, shit. No, neither did you. I got it. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, shit. It's Bert and Ernie, is. isn't it? Uh, yeah, of course. Why does that sound right? Uh, it, it just. Uh, is. Yeah, ugh. Oscar and Clarence sounded doing? right, too! Uh, it's, uh, I'm caught in the spoke, Ann! How, how did you screw like that? Uh, you buzz in and then. I pressed S for screw. Okay, okay. So I'll keep my hand off the keyboard. I thought I heard that right. Okay. Oh. I've never seen this before. Fiber optic? Spokane uh, area phone book here and trying to pick out a name at random. Um, and how about uh, Mr. John Woody? Uh, hmm. Okay. All right. We are calling Mr. John Woody of Spokane, Washington, area code 509 for our fiber optic field trip. Uh, let's see if he's home. John Woody. Hello. We're waiting for him. Call in. Hi, is this John? John? Speaking. John, hi, my name is Nate, and I'm calling from Chicago. This is probably going to be your weirdest phone call of the day. I'm, I'm actually... The this is such a 90s kind of Jack. very <laughs> talk show type deal. name random out of the Spokane white pages, and here's why. I need to come up with a trivia question, and if you've got a minute, 
I was wondering if you could help us come up with a trivia question that we yeah, can. Sure. Really? Yeah. Great. John, you're Sure, honest. if the bald idiot calls also, me again, what am I going to do to his face? Oh, I, I work at a wastewater treatment plant. Wastewater treatment? Uh-huh. And There's what do you do? We're recycling here. And we're trying to, you know, personally save the world. This is so weird. You know, it's awfully hard, and recycling is fun. Awkwardness is off the Absolutely. charts. I love it. Uh, I mean, collecting newspaper and cans on your back porch, it's great. Um, so, John, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to uh, put you on with our producer and uh, he'll explain everything to you and then and then we'll get back on and, and and we'll hear your question sure hang tight john all right we will be back with john woody on our fiber optic field trip in just a few questions but in the meantime uh, let's pick another category interesting okay so huh. that, those will come later huh you all know right, there, one, all uh, right i got a lot of siblings i have a sibling the category is sibling rivalry, and we are talking one thousand thousand bucks. bucks. All right. Okay, boys and girls, it's time for a history lesson. All right. Let's say you're the U.S. Your little brother's Nicaragua, and your mother is France. You and your brother have a oh. fight. What prevents your mom from interfering? God. The destiny, the Geneva Convention, the Mayflower Compact, or the Monroe Doctrine? Ah, uh, what prev. What prevents you from... I saw that coming a mile away. That's why I moved my hand. Uh, there you go. I thought it was a Monroe Woo! Doctrine, because that was the only thing it could be. Manifest says he's about moving west. Yeah. Geneva Convention is, is about international crimes. Yeah. Mayflower Compact is probably having to do with pilgrims. Well, ends the break sometimes. That's all right. That's okay. Oh, you only lost a thousand bucks, so that works. I guess the penalty for screwing is you lose the amount that the question was. Do I? Uh, I like corny pickup lines. Let's go. I like weedy pickup lines. Hey, 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 hey. This one's going to be super pickup lines. I'm paying out $2,000 if you get this one right. Hope you're ready because here's one coming Super pickup lines. To employ Marlo's mighty line in an attempt to pick up Wonder Woman. What? A chain uses I've never heard of Marlo's mighty line. On ships, a scenery rope used in Elizabethan theaters, or a form of blank verse poetry. I... Huh. Uh... Go for it, Go for broke. Christopher Marlowe used it to usher in the Wow. What a bluff. Great job. <laughs> <laughs> Need to fish myself out of the negative. Wow. To spend a little lasso time with him. Ooh. Ooh. Vitamins. I like vitamins. I mean, Scooby, yeah. Special Flintstones the vitamins. The behind this question is Scooby Doo and vitamins. And it looks like you can win a thousand. Only a thousand bucks for this one. Come okay, on. Let's, let's say the popular cartoon star in Scooby Doo introduces a new character, a cousin of Scooby's with a vitamin C deficiency. <laughs> I tell huh. you, what's the best name for this new character with the vitamin C? <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Scooby Doo. I, mean, Scooby -Doo. I just <laughs> saw that. <laughs> oh, Scurvy Doo, you seem to have paralysis <laughs> in your legs. <laughs> It's, it's in the gums, actually. Get some screws out here. Ow, ow. Put the pin in here. God. Um, okay, here we go. One for everyone. Oh, oh new screws. Never been so happy to get screwed again. I'll be nice. Oh, we're back. All right, we are back to our fiber optic field trip. We've got John Woody on the line from Spokane, Washington. John, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, Have you ever been to Washington? Go. No. Here we go. Let's see if we can figure out something about Washington. Okay, John, what's our category? The category is recycling. Recycling. I know about that. $5,000. Right, dollars. Like how I recycle jokes. All right, John, it's all yours. Take it away. Which of the following cannot be recycled? Oh. That's a toughie. Blair, John, how about flashlight batteries? Well, flashlight batteries can be recycled to get the mercury out. Damn it. Well, you take a risk. Mm. So will I. I'm gonna go with. Oh, it's either oil or copper. Yeah, I was oil or copper. Probably not motor oil, right? Uh... John, what do you say to motor oil? That's incorrect. Motor oil can be recycled, and it's used for heating oil. I think he said it can be recycled. Okay, it was copper then. Yeah, it's okay, copper. John, what's the correct answer. The correct answer are car tires. Car tires? Car tires. Well, I thought you could. Oh, crap! All right, John, great question. Thanks for helping us out. We'll, we'll send you a t-shirt or something. Well, I feel like I've learned something today. Yeah, I learned something, too. Okay, I learned Joe that Woody you're still in the positive, and that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> just barely, though, just barely. 
Bar Hub. Well, it's up to you. What are we doing? Uh, great joke at dinner parties. Bar Hub with Grandma was the obvious choice. I know, I know. A great joke at dinner parties. I can't pass up a great joke, though. I can't figure this one out. I, can I can't pass up Bar Hub with Grandma. Okay, hang Grandma. Tight. Put your fingers on your buzzers. Here's the question. At a cocktail party, someone tells you your friend is showing more than her fair share of aqueous humor. What should you do next? Congratulate her on her sparkling wit. Tell her to chew with her mouth closed. Uh, uh, emergency room. Oh. Go for it, Blair. Oh, my See if you can figure it out. Blair wanted to hear Uh, in Jim's humor, uh. I think not. No. Blair, too, if you want it, it's yours. I've never heard of that word. Buzz in, then in. Here's what you should get. Oh, no. Get her to the emergency room, because she's got excess fluid in her eyeball. Ah. Oh. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Player one. Oh. One. Well. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we're doing here. One thousand dollars for a snow job. Hey, that's dirty. And this one's gonna be worth two thousand dollars. Okay, help me out here. I just can't seem to remember this. What's the real name of that big scary cold guy? You know the one who's supposed to live up in Tibet and gets mistaken for a snowman. He scares people silly and he's got real. There's no way. Who's that guy? It's a go for it, player. It's one. not the obvious answer, right? Uh Uh we'll just go for this. I shit myself. Meaning that it was the obvious answer! Otherwise known as the abominable snowman. Come on! Yahweh's God and Yoda is. I don't believe any of that abominable snowman stuff. It got in your own head. There's a reason I don't play trivia games often because I make myself look stupid. You got in your own head. That's what happened. I know. Let's make it like a bandit. Oh no! Do, do do I steal your wallet like afterwards or? I don't know. I never made out like a bandit before. Okay, I always make out like a criminal. Like, like do you do you grab the money bag and then kiss the police officer on the way out? Okay, submarine races hilarious. Oh. You know what? Fuck it. What do you think? Who the hell is Keith Partridge? I don't know! <laughs> I don't know either! From the so... Partridge family? Tough luck. Pa! Uh, it's probably this. I don't think I even. Although, my God, nothing heightens sexual arousal like the smell of dirty sweat socks. <laughs> Fuck. Well, I, I would have been wrong anyway, so we both got screwed. Apartment over the garage. Check this. Oh, Muldoon's point. Muldoon's point. If Keith wants to make out, that's where the action is. I guess it's hard for Keith to go parking anywhere driving that friggin' bus. None of that made any sense to me nope. at all. It's up to you. What are we doing? Yeah, we're also testing ourselves on 90s knowledge. Uh, I think we can bash our own state. What do you think? Absolutely. All right, let's do it. I mean, what's there to make fun of? There's nothing here in Ohio. Buckeye bashing. Hello, this one's six thousand big ones. Thousand dollars. Hang on tight, cause here we go. Once nicknamed the Queen City of the West, Cincinnati was also known in less flattering terms. Which of the following <laughs> is another of its actual nicknames? Porkopolis, Stinksville, Cincinnati. Have you ever heard Cincinnati called one of these? No, I haven't. Uh, and, uh, here, here, let's uh, one, 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 let's, uh, one, 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 uh Stinksville. Stinksville? That can't be in Ohio. That's gotta be in Jersey. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Shit. Well, it's gotta be Sin City, right? No, but it sounds like a fun place to retire to. I, I get where hey, you're coming from. Yeah. Sin Cincinnati. Sin City. Sin City was called Porkopolis. Porkopolis. The, the major industry in Cincinnati was the marketing and slaughtering of hogs. Oh, the you gotta be kidding! I didn't know that. Law centers there. Damn it! Uh, so what do you call yourself? This one's gonna be. So, what do you call yourself? It's gonna be worth. I call myself four thousand dollars. Okay, get your fingers ready. Let's give. I call myself getting out of the red. Latvia is too. Oh, uh, 
It for is it. Latvian. Latvian. Ah, you opted for the pretentious French spelling. I thought you might. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Uh, be duh. Lettish? That's, that's right, they're known as the Lettish. What? Hey! How did you know? You must have had a Lettish. Fetish. Damn it! <laughs> I like my salads with, with, with a lot of lettuce in it. Oh, that first one is hilarious. Uh, ice cream, medieval pharmaceuticals, fashion police. Uh, yeah, I'll go with it. I might be able to bring it back in the jack attack. Ice cream and medieval pharmaceuticals. You get this question right. Big, big totals coming in, so you don't know how this can go. The good humor man travels back to the Middle Ages and changes his name to the Four Humors Man. Based on medieval physiology, which is not a flavor the Four Humors Man sells. Blood, black bile. Player T. That makes sense, yeah. Wet. According to medieval physiology, the four humors are blood, phlegm, black bile, and yellow bile. Who's hungry now? Huh. I was going by the four horsemen of the apocalypse, That's and what sweat I was is thinking, not yeah. one of them. Blood could be war, black yeah. bile could be disease, and phlegm could be also disease. Maybe that's what the four horsemen were based off. Uh, go with Oz and oxidation. <laughs> Oz and oxidation. A right answer will get you two G's for this question. Get your eyes focused on the screen. Here we go. On the way to the Emerald City, which Wizard of Oz character has a <laughs> player one? Go nuts! The, the cowardly lion, lion, of course. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> oh, I'm just. I'm, I'm turning green. I am. I'm turning <laughs> green. <laughs> I'm oxidizing. I'm rusting to my bones. I'm I am. Rusting. Player one, it's up to you. What are we doing? Uh, you know what? Dog food. Plus Italian cuisine. Is and one in the same, really? Yeah, uh, 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 it's probably going to be a Lady in the Tramp question. I'll pay you four thousand dollar bills for this one if you get it right. Hey, you remember that dog food commercial where the dog chases around a miniature covered wagon? No. The little covered wagon broke a wheel. Which type of pasta could they possibly? Oh use to replace shit! It? Go for it. Ruta. Yeah. Crap. Like Italian man knows his pasta. I was about to say, say, yeah, you should know this. want to boil them first. Okay. One of these things is not like the other. <laughs> One of these things just doesn't belong. One of these things is not like the others. And this one shouldn't be too tough. 4K for this one. Flight attendants, prepare for takeoff. Which of these does not equal six? Brady Kid, Charlie's Angels over five seasons, Walton Children, or Village People? Oh. Does not equal six? How many Village People were there? Five or six. Oh, come on. Nobody's going to buzz in on this one. I, player two, you are so far ahead. I mean, I, I, think, I think player two should give this one a try. What do you think? Okay, about fine. It's, it, it's going to buzz you in anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it buzzed you in okay. anyway. All right. Uh, that would probably be. Because uh, Charlie's a, Angels, there were three it, over five you seasons. Got That's Tiffany Wells, didn't you? Eh. Uh, uh, I'll go for it. Why am C wrong? <laughs> In case you're curious about the correct answer, Brady Bunch? <laughs> the Walton yeah, because, oh. you know, Brady, Brady kids are three, are three each. You know, three boys, three girls. Oh, that makes sense. And together they all made the Brady Bunch. Okay, this is for the Jack attack, so which one do you want? Uh, it's that's all you, man. That's my wife! Oh no! Doom bell tolls. This is gonna ask us about sitcom wives. Enter Prepare to lose. If you I've already you lost the twenty-four thousand in the negative. In. Two thousand dollars will be yours if you're right, but each time you're wrong, two thousand shall be taken away. Let's see but if you can remain you in the positive, more. friend. That's. I'm not in the positive. I thought you were two thousand in the positive. Clue. No, that last one hit me. Oh. No. That's my wife. That's my wife. That's your only hint. You're on your own for the rest. Good luck. Ah. Uh. Beer. Uh. Mm -hmm. Dead. Oh. Meathead. Meathead. I'll take it. Archie Bunker. Oh. I think it might be Edith. 
Hmm. Abraham from the Bible? I actually know that one. Hooray! Prince Albert. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Shit! Oh, it might have been Diane Chambers. Or. Or. Norm? That was probably beer. I I've saw a little bit of cheers. Yeah, I've never a little bit of cheers. cheers. Oh, well. Dead! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> if that creepypasta is to be believed. J.R. Ewing? Sue Ellen, sure. Okay, Archie Bunker. Damn it. Protestant! Protestant. <laughs> Edith. Uh, and I think that's it. That's the end of the attack. Hey! <laughs> See, you made it into the positive. Player two. Uh, yeah, Get those those two good questions I got. Yeah. You just player one to a crisp. Let's see if I keep consistent. Really Let's see if I keep consistent. Yeah, you in the positive, me in the destructively negative. That was that was fun. Yeah. Just as fun as I remembered. Yeah, Hell yeah. that was good. Uh, can you believe we're gonna do a whole month of this? I can believe it. Yeah, I can too. I can definitely believe it. So next time on Bargain Bin Lounge, we got another version of You Don't Know Jack. What's it gonna be this time, you think? I guess we'll find out yeah. next time. We'll figure that out, no worries. Let's let the credits play out, though. Because they're kicking our ass out. Oh, well, easy come, easy go. But here's the good uh, news. Go ahead, Donnie. Why don't you tell them how our coffins have been chosen by more families than the other guys? Tell how about we just quit? <laughs> Nobody ever watches the end credits. Uh, oh, that's it. Okay. Bye. See you next week. Thank you.